I recently remodeled my kitchen from top to bottom, and now it's time to get all the way organized. If you want to see how I organize my small kitchen into a functional and aesthetically pleasing space, then keep on watching. Hey, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla here, and I wanna thank you all so much for clicking on today's video. We are about to get this kitchen super organized, you guys, and right now, I'm showing you all all the things that I bought to do it, and I'll talk more about those things as we continue throughout the video. I'm starting off by organizing under my sink. I'm using these flex trays that I got from Aldi, and I'm wiping them down really quickly, making sure everything's nice and fresh. I believe like all for all of these trays, it was like $3.99, a really good deal. And I'm also using an over the cabinet basket to put like a lot of those items that I use most often, like my dishwasher pods, my cleaning brushes and things like that. If you're new here, I want to thank you so much for clicking on today's video and I hope that you like what you see and you consider subscribing on my channel. I do a lot of DIY videos, home decor, home renovation, all that good stuff. So if that's your thing, I think you will love my channel. And shout out to all my returning subbies for liking, commenting, sharing. Y'all have been showing me so much love on my latest video and I appreciate it so much. So now that all of my cleaning products are organized neatly under the sink, I wanted to go ahead and start working on my dishes. I don't know why you guys, but I thought I had so many more dishes than this. So I definitely have to get a couple more plates and things like that. During my kitchen renovation, I was only eating off of plastic plates, plastic spoons, plastic cups. So I kind of forgot what I had, <laughs> but it's really good to see all of my things again and put them away. This is like the start of a new chapter for me. I'm super excited about it. So who else owns like a thousand mugs? <laughs> I have so many mugs. I just love them the most. I drink tea pretty much all the time. So I love like choosing the different mugs and things like that. But at the same time, I need to invest in like regular drinking glasses because as you guys will see in a second, I barely have any. I don't know where all my wine glasses disappear to, my drinking glasses, things like that. But I guess I don't have them anymore. So it is my goal to go thrifting and find some new ones or also find some online as well. And I'll probably take you guys along with me for that process. If you could let me know down in the comments where you found your affordable drinking glasses and wine glasses down in the comments, that would be super helpful. Getting organized is just so satisfying for me. I love these types of videos. So if you do too, please be sure to hit that like button if you haven't already. It helps me out so, so much and I appreciate it so much as well. I'm using these long flex spin trays that I got from Walmart. Pretty much everything I got is from Walmart. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would see some sneak peeks and things like that. And I'm using this to put in a lot of those bigger utensils like my pizza slicer my can opener wine opener and things like that it was the perfect size as i'm organizing you guys will see that i'm bringing in a lot of new items and 
replacing them with some of the older things that I've had for years so in a second I'm gonna like take a box and start putting in the items that I want to get rid of donate or sell so I think that's really helpful when you're doing stuff like this don't feel like you have to keep everything because at first I did you'll see I have two can openers in there I don't need two can openers so a big part of organizing is like getting rid of clutter and for me that can be hard because sometimes I don't like to get rid of things but as you can see right now I'm doing it I am doing it and I'm proud of myself So now I am unboxing my new knife set that again I got from Walmart. It was only $49.99. I thought like the color, the white handles was perfect. The butcher block thing was cute too. And the price was really affordable. All the knives that I had that you guys saw me put in that box, they were so dull, had them for years. And I didn't have like the little butcher block container to put them in anymore. So I just really wanted a fresh start and I thought, when I saw these knives, I was like, I gotta have these. They're too cute to pass by. So again, with the new item, I bought a whole new pot and pan set. And I am obsessed with the color, with everything. This is from the Drew Barrymore Beautiful Collection that's sold at Walmart. Um, these pots also come in black, sage, navy, and maybe even white. But I ended up getting the gray color. And I don't know why, but things like this nowadays, like kitchen um, pots and pans, these things excite me. So I made a little investment to these. For the whole set, it was $99, so I thought that was a good deal. And um, before I put them away, I just went ahead and washed them, made sure everything was nice and fresh. And now I'm sorting them into my Lazy Susan drawer. If you guys want these pots or anything that I'm showing y'all, I'm gonna try to have everything linked down below. So anything you're looking for, I'll have it labeled in the link for you to click on. So I'll admit, with organizing like all of my muffin pans and baking sheets and stuff like that, I began to struggle. I was like, okay, I'm not really sure how I want this to go, what's going to be the most functional, but I tried to sort it by what I used most often. So I later on ended up moving those heart-shaped containers out of the way because I really don't use those a lot. And so that was a good tip for me, like the things that I use most of the time, I tried to put them up front or closer to the opening of the cabinet. And so after I started doing it like that, it really helped. Oh guys, and now for my favorite part, we are going to begin organizing the spices. Um, the two gray containers that I have are from Walmart and the clear one is from Amazon and these containers are also from Amazon y'all I think you get 36 of them for around $24 I believe and I also got these labels from Amazon too they were around I believe $12.99 I have a Cricut machine though and I need to start using it because I could have saved a lot of money um, and of course, you don't need to buy these on Amazon or even have a Cricut machine to get that really cute organized look. I'm sure you could find some like this even for free online and just print them off on sticker paper. That would have been like the smarter way to do things, but I was just doing the most easy, convenient thing for me at the time. So let's go ahead and get all these spices organized. Feels, babe. 
Y'all, I'm trying to up my seasoning game, so please be sure to let me know down in the comments which seasonings are your favorite. I feel like I have most of the staples, but I'm always looking for fun ways to change up the flavors in my food, so that would be super helpful. All right, so now it was time to put those seasonings away and I used those trays that I showed you guys earlier and I am sorting them based on like what I use most often. So now it's time to organize my food and again I just had everything in these bins since I was remodeling my kitchen. So I'm using these containers that I got from Walmart but these jars that I bought are from Uline and guys when I tell you these are such a good price. I can't remember it right now but I will pop it up on the screen. I definitely recommend that you guys get them. They are the cheapest containers out there on the market that I've seen and I have searched around high and low and they're a really good size so I love them so much and of course the labels are from Amazon. Alrighty, so right now I am using the labels to mark off all of my jars and I was very intentional about this because I knew that these would be out on display so I wanted to put items in that not only I would use a lot of but that were also like aesthetically pleasing so like items that have the same colors and similar textures um, I decided to put those into these bigger jars. So these are the smaller version of those jars from Uline and I put the price up on the screen a little while ago. I love these as well and if you want to get them down like a little bit cheaper because I think they're around $2 a jar, um, you can choose to do a plastic lid instead of a metal lid and that takes the price down significantly. So I definitely recommend them and they're super cute. You could have a taste.
now for this part i was just being extra i had to cut the spaghetti so it would fit into this little container <laughs> um yeah that's all i gotta say about that and then next we are going to use the other containers that i got from walmart i really could have just got them all from uline and saved so much more money but i did like um this shape also wasn't sure if i wanted everything to be round um so i knew that by using like a rectangular shape i could definitely save a lot of space and because a lot of my food is only going in one cabinet Saving space for me was a really, really big deal. It was super satisfying to get rid of all that packaging and put everything in these little containers. I honestly had so much fun doing this. So I definitely recommend it for you guys, um, especially if you love watching videos like this, you will get an even greater kick out of it by doing it yourself. So now I am going ahead and putting my jars up here on my little open shelving on the other side of my kitchen. Just kind of trying to like feel things out, see how I want things, kind of coordinate all my food in a little cute way. Um, and then I'm going to put the other things that we organized in that cabinet. Also friends, please be sure to let me know down in the comments what are some of your favorite pantry organization, cabinet organization, just kitchen tips in general. I love hearing from you guys and I know there's so much that we can learn from each other. So please be sure to let me know where maybe you got your containers from, how you organize your dry goods and your pantry, all that good stuff. And let's chat it up in the comments. Really quick, I just wanted to mention where all of these items are from. So the wire baskets are from Amazon. I think you get four for around $25 and they're pretty large and sturdy. And the white baskets are of course from Aldi. And so I'm using these to sort those items that I didn't wanna put into jars, things that I felt like needed to stay in their original packaging. So I put my chips in one, my couscous in another, and then like my canned goods in the white containers.
I love, love, love tea. So I'm using this drawer for all of my tea. I want it to be all cute and like take it out and have it organized into little bins, but these, this type of tea, they're not in like, they're not individually wrapped. So I wasn't sure if I just took them out, they would um, get stale. And also they don't have the names of them on the front. So I just decided to leave them in the boxes for now. I'm also going ahead and I am sorting out all of my Ziploc bags into this drawer. Next, I began to sort all of my appliances. So I got a new blender again from Walmart, the beautiful collection. It's so pretty. Um, I had my old blender for years, so I just wanted something fresh and new. And also, I wanted to get a white one because all of my appliances are white, which you guys will see in a second. So I brought all those out back into the kitchen and wiped everything down and then sorted them into their place within this cabinet. I just love that I have so much more storage now. I feel like everything that I own has a place, so that's really, really good. And now I'm using this basket that I got from the container store, and I'm gonna start using this to put my water in and like my canned drinks, things like that. And I believe the price on these was around $12.99. I had the toughest time getting these little baskets to fit down here. I kind of had to like shove them in, which just reminded me why I love flex baskets even more. But I love the look of these, so that's why I went with them, and it ended up working out perfectly. All right guys, so we've come to the end of today's video, but before you guys leave, I wanna show y'all what the kitchen is look like. So let's do a quick little mini kitchen tour. All right, so if you enter the kitchen from this way, this is what you see. Of course, the countertops are very minimal. There are no decorations right now, strictly just functional items. And then over here in our first cabinet, we have all of my glasses and mugs Currently, this drawer doesn't really have anything in it, but I am going to put like all of my grilling supplies in here, I think. Those are just in the dishwasher right now. And down here, I have another empty drawer, so, or cabinet. Alrighty, and now for the corner cabinet, all of my bowls and plates are organized nicely. For my spices cabinet, ah, this one just makes me so happy see everything just in here organized so neatly is really really cool and then on the top shelf it's empty but this one right here I added a lazy Susan like a little spinner from the container store so I can just easily grab whatever it is I need like my hot sauce I love hot sauce okay all right so on the other side of the spice cabinet I have like my pantry cabinet where all of my food and things live. I just, this just speaks to me. So I was able to fit a lot of things in here. I'm very happy about that. I put my fish fry back there. I know it's just cornmeal, but it's really fish fry. And then these containers fit nicely behind my pasta. I have more spaghetti up here behind the cookies. I have chocolate chips. So. Everything worked out really good behind the pretzels. I have crackers. 
So that's what that's looking like. And you guys saw me organize these two areas earlier. These are just those items that aren't really on display too much. Right next to the stove, I added my oils. And on the other side, there is like a little thingy to put all my utensils in and then also my knives. And in this drawer right here, we have all of my utensils organized neatly. I put the rest of my little plastic forks here and then there's more knives back there. Down here, we have all of my baking sheets, pots and pans, stuff like that. More baking things in here, like you guys saw. And then I didn't change this up, so this is all the same. More baking items, well, pots and pans underneath the kitchen sink this is still organized nicely with my dawn spray extra sponges pods lysol just really everything i need to keep my kitchen fresh and now moving on to this side of the kitchen so you guys can see automatically what these things are I love the look of this. I feel like it looks so clean and I'm gonna put a couple more items up here, but they're just gonna be strictly decorative. My microwave is here. I think I like it right here. That's where I had it last time when I had my hutch here, but I'm not sure if I wanna, if it's gonna stay there. I don't know if my bread box is gonna stay there, but things are just kind of, you know, placed out for now. t is on point. We have all of my little snacks and breakfast foods on point. I gotta add some more breakfast bars. Down here, we have all of my appliances and things like that and some extra containers that I had, some more honey that I got. And here is more of my organizational stuff. And these are empty, you guys. So this kitchen definitely allows me room to grow. But in this one, I put extra food. I forgot this was in there. <laughs> I put extra food. So anytime my jars get empty, this is where I'll come to first to see if I need to refill it. So flour, cereal, pretzels, just stuff like that. All right, in this drawer, um, the rest of my labels are in here and some lunch bags. This drawer is empty. And then down here, I have my waters and I'm gonna put like more sodas and things, but there's still so much more space for me to so you fill. guys, that is my entire kitchen, fully organized. I'm obsessed. You guys let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. If you love videos like this, please be sure you've already hit that subscribe button and you hit that like button. It helps me out so much. I just feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders now that I'm organized. And now I feel like I can fully focus my mind on decorating um, this space. So I'm super excited for that. That will be the next video. And yeah, this just feels like a really good clean space. I was able to get rid of so much packaging. I'm just so happy with everything. So I'll see you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching and have a really great day. Bye, guys.